customizing multi-access HTML5 charts in JasperSoft Studio. HTML5 charts package features charts with multiple axes such as multi-axis line, multi-axis spline, and multi-axis column. In such chart, each series will be plotted on its own axis. The first series you've defined will be plotted on the left side, while all other series will be plotted on the right. Let's see how they are defined. You can specify the series measure properties in simple view by using the series drop-down. The chart needs to have at least uh, two series. You can add new series by pressing the green plus button and remove them by de pressing the red uh, cross button. You can also do the same thing in the advanced configuration. For this you will need to add new measures for the same effect. Once we've defined our series and measures, how can we customize the display? What if we want one series to be formatted differently than the other? Thankfully we have a solution for this. We will need to use the context specific properties. Let's take a look at them. Let's go to chart formatting, show advanced properties, and here we have the context specific tab. Context specific properties aren't used much in other situations, mostly for these multi-axis charts. Let's see how they are defined. Now here we see two context specific properties groups. They're both named the y-axis because we want them to apply to the y-axis all these properties that we defined here. The most important property here is the JR axis index. This is the uh, index of the axis for the series that we are uh, defining. The index starts uh, with a zero. The order uh, matches the order of the series we have defined previously. So this one applies to the first series and this one applies to the second series. Uh, we're talking about these two. This is the first, this is the second. Uh, here you can see what properties we have defined. We have defined the format of labels, the max and min value, and the custom title text. Same for this. This is not the only place where you can specify additional properties for customization. J uh, just as with other charts, you can uh, modify the measure, go to advanced properties, and set additional uh, properties here. For example, we specify a different type of uh, visualization and we have a value suffix for the tooltip. Here we use percent sign and for this measure we use the letter B. So let's take a look at how it looks like. Let's show chart preview. And here we have a multi-axis chart. This one has two axes. Uh, this is the primary, this is the secondary. As you can see uh, the tooltip here has uh, 100p and the tooltip here has the percentage. Here you can see uh, the format that we have been applying and the custom title. Thank you for watching the video. For further reading we recommend you go to the High Charts API website and take a look at the Y-axis properties and refer to our documentation JasperSoft Studio user guide to the dual access and multi-access combination charts section. Have a good day.